Hello everybody, my name's Mr. Teacher. I am a teacher who games. I have been roped into starting a YouTube channel where I play games because my students really want to watch me play games for some reason. I don't know why they just don't go out and play them themselves, but I think this is the trend these days. If you're not playing games and you're watching somebody else play games, it sounds really boring to me. It's a bit like a spectator sport, but um, anyway, main purpose of this account is to play games and have fun, create a bit of drama, laugh, tell some jokes. I don't think I'll be very good at telling jokes online because I don't. I need, I need an audience. I need my students in front of me to tell good jokes, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to create a new account. I'm going to create a new, sorry, not a new account, a new world. I'm going to put it on survival. I'm going to put it on hard mode. Now, I, there is no, I was really disappointed by this. The Windows 10 edition has no hardcore mode, but I'm going to play it hardcore. That is, if I die, it's game over. We're going to move on to a different game. So all my stuff, I will delete. I have to delete this um, map. And then we'll move on to a different girl, probably Rimworld, something with a little bit more drama, you know. Um, seed, I'm going to call Yeshua, because um, I'm a Christian, uh, and Yeshua is the original name for Jesus. Just a way to remind me, help remind me what I'm doing and why. And we don't know what we're going into here. We're going to create a world here, and my purpose is to live as long as possible build stuff, and maybe even finish the game. I have never, ever finished Minecraft. So, this will be interesting. Um, anyway, here we go. Emerald Wars are the rest or in Minecraft. Dream Hill Bars. Well, there you go. Okay, where are we? We appear to be in a forest. A pretty generic Minecraft forest. You'll notice that the um, screen rate is uh, frame rate is terrible at the moment, but um, we will that will hopefully improve over time. Now we do seem to be on the edge of a forest, but there's this pretty cool cliff up here. Could that be an extreme hill biome? Not entirely sure. First thing you want to do is, I suppose, cut down a tree. I am the tree puncher. But that won't last for long. Could make my home right here in the cliff face as well, but nah, I'm not gonna. Um, Alright, so let's make a crafting table. Now, one thing I do like about Windows 10 Edition is it does have this um, little thing here, which is pretty cool. Uh, I can just click there, move that into here, and then I have a crafting table. And then it puts all my other items back. Ooh, a little cave. Actually, this might be an alright place to start a base. You can seal off a wall. Oh, it's a big cave. Ooh, okay. I like caves. Um, one thing I'm going to do on this account is I probably you probably notice I won't have diamond very quickly because I'm not going to dig straight down and then dig along the bottom 16 layers, which is why most people get diamonds. Caves are so much more interesting. So we'll put that there. Uh, we'll make ourselves a axe, if I can find one. No, we need some sticks first. Uh, da -da -da -da. These trees are just asking for trouble, or axing for trouble. See, I told you my jokes would be terrible. Didn't even know it was a joke, did you? This tree's kind of in the way of my view. a little bit better than punching it with my fists, as it would be. I do want to explore. I don't want to settle here, really. We do need a place to start. Got a few more bits of stone and stuff. Let's make one of these. Pop that in there, actually. Um, and we'll mine out some of this so we've got some light at night. Minecraft is such a calming game usually, so I need to play it on the hardcore mode, otherwise I get incredibly bored incredibly quickly. And when I say bored incredibly quickly, I mean over a few days. But when I play hardcore mode, it's more exciting. Because if something should go wrong, you know, 
when you're at death's door, you know that that's going to be the end. Probably have enough of those. Get myself a stone pickaxe. Can survive a few days without food at the very beginning of the game, I've noticed. Uh, let's see. I want a bit more sticks. And we want a stone pickaxe. Keep the other one for the time being, don't ask me why. That's much better. Stone on stone. So what I want to do is get enough to board up the front and back of this uh, little enclosure here to make give myself a safe spot at night. Stick a door in each entrance. I do like building about around the natural shapes of, uh, that exist in Minecraft in an untouched world. So maybe this base will last us longer, but I'll go exploring tomorrow and find a better place, hopefully. I do want to build a house, a nice house, but our main priority is survival. Surviving is important. We need to have that uh, thrill of uh, constant danger, otherwise what's the point? Nearly there. Sweet. Okay, we have a hole on the top, a hole on the bottom. Good for a doorway, or I can fill it in with something else later. Oh look, a door. Alright, we got doors. Um, and we also want some of these, because we want some uh, lighting in here. It's looking better and better. Okay. Wooden doors, not the best. Good way to start though. Excellent, alright. We have a home base. Um, let's go exploring a little bit. What's the time of day? Just past midday. Could uh, collect a bit more material, could collect some wood. Probably should collect a little bit more wood. But I'm also going to need some food. So I need something. Uh, I, there's one way to get food. I can, you can cut down trees. If you cut down enough trees, you get food from apples and stuff like that. It's less boring than going out and killing a pig though. Shout out to all my um, country students who like pigging over the weekend. I've never done pigging, except in Minecraft. In Minecraft you also do sheeping. You don't tend to do sheeping in real life. This is what I like about video games. You can do things in real life like Go out and take a sword to a sheep, get some mutton, enjoy a finely cooked meal. Oh, there's a chicken. I'm on the hunt. Don't want to hurt myself on this cliff. Can I even get back up there again? I'm trying to remember where I came from. Oh, look, another cave. That's pretty awesome. I love caves. Ow! Goes deep. Chicken, chicken, chicken with my wooden axe. How to die horribly. The hand of um the chicken goes. The hand of um sorry, hearing zombies, it's distracting me. Ah! There's one. Zombies are more scary if you say you're gonna die and like not play anymore. 
Okay, so I have a chicken. I can take my chicken home and cook it. This is good news. Very cavey. Lots of caves. I love caves. Okay, what's that? Looks like a brown sheep. Now, now, brown sheep. Moving in for the kill. Yes, excellent. We have some food. Did I want a bit more? Where's my home? It's up there somewhere. Ooh, sandy area. Oh, now this is nice. See, I could build a home at the top of there. That would be nice. Have a nice view. Maybe that's what I should do. A bit later. Right now. I want more meat. I need a spider. Ooh, cow. It's another thing people don't do is cowing. Only in Minecraft. Uh, I suppose I've got enough. I could probably head back. What's the time? Woo! Yep, we're heading back. Otherwise, we're about to be caught out here in the wilderness and die a horrible death. I'm going to use these rocks to help increase my altitude. Climb. It's looking, it's looking familiar. Where's my home? Is that it? Yes. Sweet, we are home. We have wood. Let's get a bit more wood. Before the lights go out. We have just as much time to spend in the dark, huddled inside our little cave. As we did wandering around during the day. First couple of nights in Minecraft are usually pretty boring. Uh, but well, not much I can do about that. I know that my mic is not particularly good, the way my mic is set up. I've got a pretty decent mic, it's a, what do you call it, snowball, snowball mic, if you google snowball, snowball blue, it's actually black, but it's called the snowball blue. If you google that, you'll be able to see what kind of mic I have. Um, it's pretty good, but it tends up to pick up uh, noise from every direction, which uh, can be a bit of a problem. Um, expect me to be interrupted at any moment. I do have a little bit of a reprieve right now. I'm also a uh, dad, but my uh, daughter is sick. And you're wondering, what am I doing playing games when my daughter is sick? Well, um, she was sick and she stayed up late last night. And so I am on notice to um, go in and assist if... Um, if she wakes up because my wife was up with her until about two o'clock because she was coughing and, coughing and spluttering. But I'm anticipating that they're both going to sleep in, which seems to be what's happening because I don't have any messages. Um, but if I suddenly disappear and then reappear, you'll know why. It's because I have been summoned to go inside and be a dad rather than just some weird teacher who plays games for the entertainment of his students. Hope you're enjoying every minute of this, guys. Still night time out there. Let's have a quick peek. No zombies around. Moon's still pretty low in the sky. Still a lot of night ahead of us. Let's cook some more meat. No, don't cook meat here. Cook it over here. That's really, there's not really much else to do in here, is there? You could just sit and wait. I could skip forward a bit. I could tell you more about my last story, because everybody wants to know about my last story. Isn't that what YouTubers do? They just get online and talk about themselves? Maybe they talk about other people as well. But 
Who else am I going to talk about? Ooh, hello. What's up here? Let's find out. This is interesting. Could be zombies. Could be monsters. Could be spiders. Ooh, okay. It's kind of creepy now. So it's just attached to another external cave. Well, that's a bit disappointing. I'll try and put these on the right as I'm exploring, so that they're always on the left when I'm trying to come home. Don't have any armor. I do have food, so if I die, as in if I get injured. Can at least eat something. Go down there. Not really. Ooh, a village. Well, that's pretty cool. I'm excited now. Just making this so it's easy to get back. So I don't need to run up a hill or anything. I mean, I don't need to like run up a cliff face to get back, or a ladder or something. Well, here a skeleton. Uh oh, I'm out of here. Oh, no, I'm not. Looks like I have to fight the skeleton. Still alive, still alive, still alive. Oh man, but look at my health. I can't even eat the cooked chicken. Restore health, restore. I need to find some safe spot. Restore that health. That was close. It's so easy to die without armor. I do have another orb have armor. Phew! Okay. Let's uh, use up the rest of this, getting a bit more stone. But I'm so impressed with the caves and stuff here. I have to go check out that village in the morning. Weed. Sorry, still make things the old fashioned way. Hmm. Where's the moon? Are we halfway there yet? Yes. This is good news. We can go out and find that village, talk to some of the locals. Adventure out there again. It's scary out there. Because I should, there's really not else, nothing else I'm going to do. Oh, maybe I should cook this meat first. Raw beef. Cooked mutton. So my promise to you is if I die, I turn this off. I play a different game. But that skeleton really took some chunks out of me, so I'm going to have to be really careful. This could be a really good place to start a base, actually. This is really nice. Maybe I can have a couple of bases, because I don't, I don't I want to build something nice. I don't want to just live in a cave the whole time, even though we're on survival. The priority is surviving. Like the idea of building something nice. Hello. Oh, wish a nice time is going to do it faster. I know, I know I can... Um, I can make a bed later and then sleep my night times away. Just 
make this area a bit more friendly. Just goes on and on. It's like a pre built base. It's pretty cool. Ah, at last the sun. Here comes the sun. Na -na 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 -na. Zombies will burn. Do you want to come back and I could like fill all these in with glass so the zombies definitely can't get through or anything. Maybe widen them up a bit. And Bob Johnny. Ooh. Let's do something dumb. I'm afraid of heights in real life. But in Minecraft, I'm fearless. Now, if I run too fast, I'm going to hit that other bank. But I think you can kind of control where you go in the air. So here we go. <gasps> no! Yes! Okay. Ooh, all right. That was dangerous. It's more exciting if you believe you could die. Don't do those kinds of things in real life, kids. Unless you're supervised by an adult. Make sure you have their permission. Oh, there's those drowner thingies. I only learned what they were called the other day. Who told me? My students. Might not know much about physics, but they know a lot about Minecraft. Could raise their garden. What are these? Harvest with a door. Get some beets. I'm guessing they're beets. This guy's like, hey, you stole from my garden. No, he's not. He's just running over here. Don't know what he's doing. I just try not to hold a weapon in my hand just in case I accidentally whack one of these guys. You don't want to talk to me? Is that... Ah, nope. There's the door there. Whoops. Fine, you don't want to talk to me. Whatever. Let's go over here then. Why are there llamas in the well? Because there's a trader in the well. What's a trader want to do? Good morning. You have nothing I want. A jungle sapling. No, don't want a jungle sapling. Cats! Cool. Love villagers. Stone golem, are you friendly? Yep, that's good. Alright, this guy looks like a farmer. Oh. Okay, so if I give him a, a gemstone, he can give me six loaves of bread. Well, that's great. But, I mean, these guys are actually really generous. So, even though they don't say it, they're actually okay with you stealing from them. I know, I've asked. And they said, yeah, sure, just take what you want. So, if we can find the chest around here, then... Um, we can just like raid their chest, their life savings. They won't know, it's no different to them. I know we shouldn't steal really, but um, this isn't really. This is just Minecraft. Leather boots, well that was impressive. Just stole some poor guy's shoes. You're gonna offer me armor protection actually, leather boots? Leather boots. Yes, tiny bit of armor protection. My toes are safer. Ow. Really got to get this parkour thing done better. What are you got? Uh, oh, bricks. Are they bricks? Could make a brick. Brick horrific. Bundles of hay, I'm guessing. Bed, table. Oh, a little ladder that goes up to a door. And the veranda. Okay. Well, probably shouldn't hang around here too long. But there's the holy mountain. Maybe I can build it on top of the holy mountain. That's probably a good idea. Up where it's snowy. Because, I mean, look how high that is. That's pretty awesome. We're going to go climbing up there. I'm going to have a look up there. Right after we kill this sheep with my wooden axe. What a horrible way to go. Oh, we've got some wool too.
Is that how shearing's done in real life? I don't know. I was born in the city. Climb every mountain. We won't be forging every sea though. It's a bit harder. But Minecraft mountains are pathetically small. Boing, boing. Must be an exhausting way to walk. Good thing that um, Steve is fit. Let's have a look. What can we see from up here? Snow. That's what we can see. Hey, check it out. So there's mushrooms over there. There's grassland over there. Just have a bit of a snack while we're up here. I'll try and subtitle this effectively. So we should start, let's start building up here. So, look at the clouds, right on the cloud line. And there's more mountains out there, but this looks pretty high and it's a pretty lonely mountain. I like lonely mountains because um, they kind of stand out, you know. Well duh, of course they stand out. Yeah, okay, we're setting up a base here. Now, in order to set up a base here, I need a big level area. So I'm thinking I might either extend or cut back this top layer. I might extend it actually, see how we go with that. It's roughly circular. I'm just gonna start off with something really simple to begin with. It's gonna start off with like a square structure. Um, need it. I need somewhere to live first. Probably not going to have enough cobblestone, so I might need to go underground at night and dig for more cobblestone. This is what I will do. I want basically a one big single room. Because if I do that, then I'm going to have a lot of area to build my base in, in to like set up equipment and stuff like that. Set up chests. Now it's a nice easy way to get back to where I started my base. Should go down here and build a ladder. Let us try not to fall to our deaths doing this. This looks like where I started, because then I wandered around the side of the mountain and I saw that. So yeah, let's go down here. Whoa. See, even mountaineering's dangerous in Minecraft if you're playing on hardcore mode. Not that this is really hardcore mode. Ah, home sweet home. Right, what do we need? We need wood. We probably need a better axe. Ah, but let's use this one up. Go through the top of this tree. something you can only do on Minecraft. Chop a tree down from the top. I suppose that's not really true. Tree loppers and stuff they can cut down from anywhere. Um. I want a lot of sticks because I'm probably going to build some ladders. Put some ladders so I can get back up the hill again. Right. And we have, thankfully, blessedly, enough of that to make some the cobblestone uh, stone axe. Better than hitting out wooden trees with wood. 
that's science for you. Hitting wood with wood is going to break both woods. It probably would break the axe before it break the tree, realistically. Straight line if I build from here. Oh. Snow. Just snow. That I was going to crush myself in. Cool. I could just um, build more ladders here, but let's have a continuous thing. That'll probably do. Now, how am I going to get down again to build more ladder? That was a bit silly of me. down this side for the time being. This could be um, problematic. Let's see how we go. We're getting dark already. Great, so another night spent in my little hovel of a cave. seems particularly dangerous, aka the ladder of death. And I'm staying out too late to do it. That's high enough. Alright, so I can get to the top of the hill in one fell swoop. Slightly, slightly less scary cave. Just for visibility's sake. So that when we're coming down a hill, we can like um see exactly where home is if we need to. What's up here? I don't hear any monsters. Hmm. That was a little anticlimactic, but that's okay. Dead ends leading up to be expected, really. like that, that we've got a window there, a window there, and a window there. That's pretty cool. Just to improve the view a bit. Hmm, now, I'm going to be able to get out again. Maybe I can put a ladder here. I'm feeling very nervous right now. Put it out of there at all. Okay. Is this the way I usually go? It is. So there's another way over there. Incredible. Okay. Should probably collapse this stuff so that it doesn't crush me later. Yes, I know. I'm using the wrong tool. I haven't made myself a shovel yet.
Hey look, it's like a stalactite and a stalagmite growing up in the top from the bottom of the cave. It's amazing how nature finds its way into Minecraft without even being intentional. Maybe that was the plan. Spider. We shan't go down there right now. But man, what an area to build a base in. So I can build like a thing at the top. I can build a tunnel going straight underneath it. I can build a tunnel going straight down with a ladder going into these caves. I can have a castle on the top. This is pretty fantastic. I am pretty impressed with this. I am pretty happy with my start in life here. I've played Minecraft dozens of times before and I've started in horrible places, but this is a nice place. This is a very nice place. It's going to be impressive. Eventually, anyway. What we really need is a western facing tunnel so that we can see the rising sun. I wonder how close, how far that would be to dig. Dig straight through here. Okay, there's still plenty of mountain that way. We'd have to dig through. So we might not try and dig a wall. western face, western front yet. We're just really waiting for the dawn, then we'll... Actually, you know what, I should dig out some cobblestone. And if I'm going to dig out some cobblestone, I may as well dig west to see where it gets us. Because we're going to need cobblestone to build our base. We might end up underground anyway. Like I said, I'm basically going to be building a big rectangular prism at first. So don't expect anything too flash. I just basically want a cave with a hole in it, a couple of doors, keep me safe at night, and give me a place where I can uh, still work from. Which you kind of already have, but I want to live up the top of the hill. Side. Although I can hear lava. No, it's not lava, it's just the new sound of the pickup eye and things. Is it daytime yet? Not yet. Nope. Okay, I keep digging it. to lose this pickaxe. That's okay. Guessing that is not sky that way. No, just more rock. Just a pack of dirt in the middle of some rock. Not very interesting. Uh, 
Ah, I turned all my sticks into ladders, so I can't even make a new one yet. That's really annoying. Do I dare brave the outdoors? Do some more wood. Yes, let's do it. Nothing around here. Minecraft was ranked, saw it in one of the top 10 scariest games. Up there with Slender Man and stuff like that. I think it was 10, but still, it can be pretty scary at night. Especially if you're playing on hardcore. Sticks. Where's sticks? Oh, you know what? That sounds like a small child waking up, so it might be time for me to go. I will call it off here, and we will reconvene at a later date. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day, and I will see you in the future where we're going to go up the mountain and build the external part of our base. Oh, it's raining. I have to put that off too. Goodbye all.